Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog of this holy month. Hope you all are safe. It's an absolute pleasure for me when I share my tips and easy recipes with you all because I know maybe not all but some of you are finding it helpful. This is another video including easy recipes and as per request showing how to fold a samosa. Hope you like it. Keep watching. So this is mint leaves that was hanged for drying. It hardly takes one to one and a half day here. These were hanged from the kitchen cabinet above. It's completely dry now so transferring to a glass bottle. I mainly use this for tea and snack fillings. That's chicken for preparing samosa. So here's three chicken breast pieces. Mix in half teaspoon turmeric powder. 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, half to 1 teaspoon of the magic masala powder, the recipe link is below in the description box, salt and some oil. Mix well and that's ready. Now I'm frying it in my air fryer. You can add some water into a vessel, add the chicken into it and cook on stove top or you can even pan fry or deep fry. It's up to you. Now on air fryer, it's at 180 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. You'll need a small piece of ginger, around 6 to 7 garlic cloves and few green chilies and that's up to you. You may reduce or keep it up to 9 to 10. I'm using mortar and pestle to crush them. You may chop it or use a grinder. Many of you had asked my knife brand, I believe any knife can get blunt and it's really irritating using such blunt knives for chopping. Before using for cooking, sharpen it well, but be careful with your fingers. Heat some oil in a kadai. Saute the crushed ginger garlic green chilies until the raw smell goes and ginger garlic has gone brown in color. Time to add the chopped onions. Mix well and let it cook till soft. Now this is completely optional to add a crunch to the filling. I have chopped some cashews into it. You may skip it or instead of cashews you may also add the almonds. Add the chopped cashews, few chopped coriander leaves and dried mint leaves. You can use fresh mint if you have. Give a mix and keep on low flame. The chicken is ready. Use two fork to shred. If it's difficult, you can chop it or use a grinder. Into the onion mix, add half to 3 4 teaspoon garam masala powder and mix well. Now add the shredded chicken. Mix well till everything is well combined. This is another optional ingredient but definitely adds a good flavor. Adding a cup of grated coconut. Now I have added fresh. If you can't find fresh, you may mix in half cup of desiccated coconut or simply skip it. Mix everything very well adding some salt. It takes 5 to 10 minutes for the coconut to cook well. Then off the flame and spread it over a tray or a plate so that it cools down. Now samosa sheet brand that I have been using is from Swiss that has a box coming along which I find really useful. I keep this in the freezer and take it out at least 2 hours before using it so that it comes to a room temperature. That's a mix of all purpose flour and water to make edible glue to stick the samosa. The filling has completely cooled down. Take one sheet, fold as shown. You need to get a triangle shape there. Now from this point, bring to this point. 
Make sure the corners are this way and not open as when frying oil can go inside and it will be really oily. Now open up and put your filling. Don't stuff in so much. Beginners especially add just one spoon at a time and start. And fold as shown. Now on to here apply the paste. Fold and a tiny portion will be standing out. Just tuck it in. So that's how you get a good shape. It might be time consuming in the beginning but it would get easy once you're used to it. Keeping in a ziplock bag for freezing. Now I don't take it out from the freezer in the morning itself, I guess 2 hours is enough to get it at room temperature. Nowadays I use double horse patri flour. This is the rice flour I use for making the rice rotis. I find this a good brand. That's broken rice for preparing rice gruel for Arman. This is quite filling and healthy too. For a curry to go with the rice roti, I prepared egg curry. Preparing rice gruel in a pressure cooker is a mess most of the time. The water in it leaks and my stove becomes really dirty. I am preparing the curry in a little bit extra quantity. So here I have taken onion around 3 to 4 small medium size. Heating some coconut oil in a pot. To that goes 4 to 5 cardamom and 4 to 5 cloves. After 5 seconds adding sliced onion. Saute and cook till soft. Crush a small piece of ginger and 6 to 7 cloves of garlic. Once the onion is soft and translucent, add the ginger and garlic. Chopping 2 medium sized potatoes. Once the raw smell of the ginger garlic is gone and it has cooked really well, chop in two small sized tomatoes. Give a good mix. I had chili paste already prepared so adding two spoons. You can check the link on how to make the chili paste in my description box or you may even chop three to four green chilies if you don't have the chili paste. Mix well and then goes around half teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon garam masala powder. Keep on low flame and keep covered for 5 minutes. Add some hot water and keep covered again for another 2-3 minutes. Mix again very well and add the chopped potatoes. Add 
add one and a half cup hot water. Mix and cover it. Let the potatoes get cooked. After 10 minutes of cooking, add one capsicum chopped. Cover for 5 minutes and let it cook. Add the roasted coconut mix that I had shown in my Ramadan vlog. This in fact gives a good flavor to the curry. You don't have to add so much, just 1 or 2 tablespoons. Add hot water around 1 cup. Mix adding some salt. Add 1 more cup of hot water. Finally goes in 1 tin coconut milk. If you are using thick coconut milk, you can adjust the quantity. You may add more water to loosen the consistency or keep as such. Add egg pieces and cover it. Keep on low flame for 5 minutes and the curry is ready. If you are adding fresh coconut milk, add eggs before adding coconut milk. Keep as such for 2 minutes, then later add fresh coconut milk. Heat it, don't boil it or else it would curdle. Finally frying the samosas. The reason why I have prepared extra quantity is because we have a bachelor friend who stays nearby. So we wanted to give him some and he could share with his roommates. Whenever I prepare rice rotis, I try giving that because that's what they miss the most. But it depends, I might give some other special dishes too. But whenever rice roti is prepared, I try to make extra quantity and give them. Now, some of you had asked, why do we drink the warm semolina milk every day? I don't know if there is any history behind the benefits of it, but for me, this is my childhood favorite. My mom used to prepare this every day in Ramadan, and now even my kids love it. And I guess it's light on the stomach, yet filling too. This is prepared in different ways. I have seen people adding sabudana, vermicelli, a pinch of cardamom powder, even raisins while frying. Now this can be made into a kheer, instead of milk you can use fresh coconut milk which is even more tastier. But I love it the simplest way. This is grape squash that was prepared earlier. Again, the recipe link is below. We normally have dinner late night as juice, semolina, milk, fruits and the snack is very much filling. And that's for today's vlog. Hope you would try out the recipes and I'm already getting a lot of feedback. Thank you so much. Do send me more and I love hearing from you all. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Assalamualaikum.